Good morning. It is Monday the 28th of December 2020. Happy Christmas to everyone. It's very cold today. I've got my full thermal jacket on and my, my woolly hat, which I recovered because I lost it a few weeks ago. Anyway, the ground is frozen. I think it was about minus three last night. Today's planned route is around a place called Sturton Grange, which is five miles or four and a half miles south of Annick town centre. The plan today is to walk some rights of way, total of about nine miles. Just left South Side Farm. It was a bit smelly. All the cows are nicely tucked up in the barn. I suspect there's some sort of hunt or shoot going on because I can hear shots. I can also hear people shouting and I've seen people in tweed on horseback which is a good sign. That right of way I just completed there from Sturton Grange was about 1.2 miles. I'm now walking along a minor road to get to the next right of way. The road walks about a mile so 15, 20 minutes. As you can probably see on the sign, I'm about to leave the road and head towards Easterfield Farm, which is about a mile and a quarter. There's a dead sheep. You probably won't be able to see it, but there's a dead sheep just about there. It's the only sheep in the field, so I don't know how long it's been there, poor thing. Actually, I've just noticed it isn't dead. It's just on its back. I've done this twice before. Sheep can't right themselves. They're too top heavy. So when they roll over, they struggle to get up. Come on. Go on. There you go. There we go. She's all alone now. So, she probably doesn't know where to go. Okay, I've just reached Eastfield Farm Cottages. It's about four miles down. An hour and ten. So, making good progress. Quite enjoyed walking through that field. It wasn't too bad. It's quite pretty, peaceful. Okay, that's another short section of road walked and I'm back on the right of way. Hi there. I've reached a place called Low Buston. It's a medieval village, or so it says on the map. I'm not sure what indications I'm going to see that there used to be a village here. However, the route I've set is there's a couple of rights of way around this old site. There's one just ahead of me. It's about 200 metres. And in order to complete it and not leave it hanging in the middle of others, I need to walk there and back. It should only take a few minutes each way. And then I'm turning right down this path. Whoops. Yeah, it's a bit slippery down here. Yeah. 
okay, I've reached the end of that 200 metres. That was a little more technical than I thought. It's downhill in the mud. And then there's that bridge you've just seen to cross. But this is the spot where I am now where I'll come back along that way. Hopefully in about 10 or 15 minutes time. Okay, I'm back to that junction again where I was 15 minutes ago. That last sort of quarter of a mile, which is all it was, it was pretty tough. A little bit more road walking, only half a mile. Okay, this is Low Buston Farm. I'll tag which right of way this is but it's only about a kilometre and then there's a bit more road walking and then there's one more right of way before I start making my way back to Sturton Grange Okay, I've left the road for the last time and I'm now on the last of today's right of way. It's about a kilometre back to Sturton Grange. This path, this first 100 metre section I did before a few weeks ago. But this leads on to a different right of way from the last time. So yeah, should be back in the car in about 15 minutes. As you can see, I'm back at the car. It's Durton Grange. That's about 8.8 .8 miles today in just under three hours. So not so bad. Great day though. Um, thankfully the mud was hard due to the cold and I managed to keep my feet reasonably dry. So yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Weather dependent, of course. Take care. Good morning. And a happy new year. This is my first walk of 2021. It's the 4th of January. It's pretty cold, it's hailstone. It's overcast, but I was desperate to get out. And I'm walking the right of way around Dunstan and Craster today. There isn't a sign, but this is 109 12. See, it's very muddy. The walks today, there's basically three small loops around Dunstan and Craster. I think there's about half a dozen rights of way. They're only fairly short. OK, 
Okay, this path I'm on now is the 124-01. It's a continuation of the previous path I was on from Dunstan. However, because I've crossed over a parish border, it changes its uh, numerical number. Even though really it's the same path. That is actually the path, this little river. I'll try and work my way through this somehow without getting absolutely drenched up to my knees in cold water. I've reached the end of that track. And so fast, so good. Did you get it? So fast, so good. <laughs> I've now left the road and I'm walking along. You can see behind me, it's not a right of way, but it is on the map, one of the parish boundary lines. I have to walk along this for about 400 meters i pick up one of the other rights of way which starts at Dunstan Hill Farm. I've been stalked by some sheep. Quite interesting the uh, the landowner slash farmer has stuck a, a big rusty old vehicle in front of the path so I'm gonna have to hop over a barbed wire fence to get round it. I'm now at Dunstan Hill Farm it's a working farm as you can probably hear behind me. This footpath I'm now picking up is the 109-05. Okay, you can probably see there's a huge fence, probably five to six foot blocking this right of way. I'm just gonna climb over it. There's two farmhands down there, um, but I'm just gonna climb over it. I know my legal rights, so if they say anything to me, I'm gonna fight me a corner. Uh, let's go and get over the fence safely. Just wanted to show the public footpath sign, which is just there behind me. And there's that big fence. I've just realised this is one of these rights of way that I have to walk down and then corner them all the way back again. And that is the end of that right of way. 109 slash 05. I'm now back to Bilton Hill Farm. About to pick up another right of way, which will take us back to Dunstan. And that'll be the first, first of the three circuits compete in about four mile. Right of way, 109-06. I'm walking through the footpath, which is a ploughed farmer's field. It's just started to rain, so I'll make this quick. That's the first loop done, just heading back to the car for a quick coffee and something to eat. And then I'm going to do this second loop, which is about two and a half, three miles. Good afternoon now. I've had my coffee. <laughs> this is the second loop. I've changed the plan slightly, so there's only going to be two loops. Um, this one's going to be slightly bigger than I intended, but I'm going to try and integrate the third one a little bit easier. So this should be about four and a half miles. It goes from Howick Hall, which is just on the other side of the road here, to uh, Craster West Road, or Craster West Farm actually. It's about 2,000 metres this footpath. It's right of way 
but I didn't expect I'm now with Craster West Farm just over 26 minutes for those 2,000 meters on that right of way I've now got about a kilometer of road walking till I get to Craster South Farm <laughs> and once I get there I'm on another right of way back to Howick Hall This is right of way 109-13 from Craster South Farm about a mile and a half back to the car it's raining quite heavy so I'll keep the video short but it's about a mile and a half to go <laughs> the rain stopped a little bit it's good news this road here this junction I'm at is where the dash 13 meets the dash 14 I did half of the 14 a few weeks ago and it it heads down that road there down towards the the road where the cars are it's about 300 to 400 meters each direction and I'm gonna do it today and then that will be the 14 finished for me I'll come back up here and continue with the 13 to finish back to the car back to the 109.13 that was about 0.2 of a mile each way on a good path so it didn't take too long Okay, that's the 109-13 complete and I'm back on the road I started on on the way to Howick Hall about 500 metres back to the car and that's it. <laughs> 